YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Josh, and I'm here back with another video. And on this video, we're going to be doing a low haircut with the beard faded in, and we're going to be giving him a mid fade. So let's hop right into it. So as you guys know, we're going to start by combing his hair out to get it lifted up off the scalp. So once we go over his head with the guard that he wants with the grain, it won't leave any dark spots. You know, we'll have all the hair lifted up off the scalp to be able to get cut down. So I'm going to go in with my number one guard with the clipper all the way open using my Babyliss Black Effects Limited Edition Clippers. We're going to be going with the grain with the one guard open, like I said, all the way around the head, following his natural pattern, making sure we cut the hair down evenly all over. And we're going to be going over his head more, more than one time, even if we've already hit that area. We want to make sure that we get everything off the head so there won't be any dark spots at all any lumps of hair, you wanna make sure that you get that right. So right here, once I got to the point where I started to see that I had most of my hair cut down to the length I wanted, I grabbed my comb instead of grabbing my brush because the brush would usually brush hairs down when the comb lifts it up when I needed to. So as you guys know, our first guideline in this fade would be our ball line, which I'm going to use my Babyliss Skeleton FX to set that in. And we're going to be going all the way around the head. And once we get to the back, like right behind the ear, we're going to start dropping it just a little bit to give it kind of that dark fade look, but not too low to look like a drop fade. We want it to just be a dark mid fade. We don't want it to be too high like a ball fade. So right here, I'm just going around his head, cleaning up all the extra hair that we don't need just so we can get to our next step in this fade. So after we get done cutting all the hair off that we don't need anymore, I'm going to go in with my trimmers flipped upside down as you see them now. Because when I initially made this guideline, I had my trimmers flipped the other way as if I were going in for a lineup to set this guideline. But when you do that, you make the line too sharp and you do not want it that sharp. So go in under it and hit it a little bit to soften it. So my next step in this fade is with my clippers all the way open. Going up about half an inch, setting in my next guideline. And we're going to do this all the way around the head, keeping the guideline parallel to the first guideline that we made. And, we, and you want your thickness of your guideline to be the same all the way around so we can have an even fade on both sides. So after setting in that guideline, you want to go in with your clippers halfway closed. Right now on my Babyliss, I have my clippers on the second notch. I always start off on the second notch with my Babyliss clippers because it just softens the lineup and it helps me know where to go next. Because depending on how the, how the line fades with it on the second notch from, from closed, it'll either tell me to close it some more or keep going in with the same length that is at. So all the time with the Babyliss, I almost all the time end up closing the clipper all the way to fade out that guideline. And like I said, when I started with my second notch from close, it just allowed me to know what to do next. And I already knew from when I first started fading it that I would have to close this clipper all the way just to get that line out. So right now you'll just see me trying to get that line out. So right now, since we put in such a hard line, I had to go in with my trimmers 
and I had to kind of use my trimmers as thinning shears just to hit the bottom of this line, kind of feathering it to get that line going away because my trimmers are the closest thing I have to the actual guideline that we created. So that's going to be the best way to try to work this line out. So since we kind of mostly worked out that line, we're gonna move on to our next step in our fade, which is with my number one guard on, the Bablets with the clipper all the way closed. And I'm gonna be setting in this guideline at about half an inch wide, and I'm gonna follow it all the way around the head. So as I'm doing this, you see me always brushing. When you brush, it helps you not miss any dark spots because it'll brush out all the hair that's already cut and it just leaves you with a clean canvas. So after setting in that guideline that we just did with my number one guard on all the way closed, to fade that line out to meet it up with the no guard open, I have my half guard on right now and I'm starting under the line and I'm flicking up to the line, flicking this line out getting it lighter and lighter until it blends away. A lot of times when you're fading out lines, it comes with a lot of technique and skill because a lot of times when I'm fading out any lines, I'm not always having it all the way closed or truly to where it's supposed to be at to take that line out. I have my own ideas. So after doing that, we're gonna set in our next guideline, which is with my one and a half guard on with the clipper all the way closed. And right here is just where we're gonna start connecting the sides with the top because our highest guard we're gonna use in this fade is a one and a half open. But right now I'm sitting in my guideline with the one and a half closed. And I'm going up about to the, to the side of the head, not all the way to the top, but kinda of just, if you was to look at his head like a square, just right to the top of the square. So after setting in that guideline with my one and a half guard, I'm gonna start fading down and right here I grab my number one guard with the clipper all the way open. And I'm gonna fade down all the way until I have my number one guard all the way closed because that's gonna be the meeting point in between the areas that we're blending. Usually when I'm around this area in the fade, I usually tend to open and close my number one guard all the way open and halfway. Sometimes all the way closed, but it's a process when I'm taking out that line. So this guideline right here is going to be the last guideline that we created and the last guideline that we are taking out in this fade. And right here I'm using my one and a half guard with the clipper all the way open, just fading out that line. Now that we're done with the hair on his head, we're going to start working on his beard. I'm going to start by picking it out just so I can have a better outlook of what I'm fading into. So right now I'm gonna be fading this beard in. This, I'm just doing the opposite of everything that I did to the top. I might not even have to go that big of a guard, but basically this is just the reverse of everything I did at the top. So once I'm done with the beard fade, I always go in to the regular fade and I do some detail work. So right here you see me using the corners of my blade and I'm just using my clipper like a thin and sheer, hitting dark areas, cutting the hair but not too much hair, just making everything blend better. Um, right now I'm working on that back area where we created that first guideline, it's kind of dark around there. So you're gonna see me working around that area a lot just to get that faded out all the way like I like it. Um, I usually don't use my babless when I fade and I usually have a hard time getting that line out when I use my babless clippers. Um, it's just the way that they zero gap. Um, with my wall clippers, man, this, this line would have been out. But you know, I've been practicing using my babless and I've been liking them so far. So let's work on the lineup right now, you guys. Um, I'm gonna leave this lineup natural. As I say, you guys, never push them back. Try to stay as much on the edge as you can while making the lineup as sharp as you can without having to push them back at a major, major rate. Um, doing a lineup isn't that hard, it just comes with consistency. So I'll let you guys sit back and watch my lineup process. So 
so right now i'm going to be working on lining up his beard um this is going to be really satisfying man because he needed it man look at all that hair under his beard that line is going to make everything pop A real big tip you guys when doing people beards make sure that you have both sides of the beard evenly level as far as the height where it sits um if you if you were to look at him straight forward do do the two lines meet at the same point as far as like going towards the corner of the lips you want to make sure you have that really 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 similar on both sides even on the bottom make sure when they put their head back make sure when you do that you look at each side of the line and make sure that they're parallel and they all just curve at the right rate and evenly on both sides. So guys, we're almost done with this haircut. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to like this video if you really like it. Make sure to like it because I know a lot of people forget, but right now I'm doing some more detail work. I'm um, just hitting that dark area in the back right there like i said i was having a hard time in the back getting that line out but you know we're not going to let, let him walk out of the shop like this you know i got to get that line out so i'm going to work on that as you can see right here i have my wall seniors to get to the line out and then i got it out pretty good that lineup came out good the fade came out good look at my guy's beard that thing is like done to perfection all natural no enhancements Right here, I'm hitting them with my Babyliss shaver just to smooth that skin out and get that line popping some more. YouTube, you seen it. You seen it here first. You seen it with your own eyes. This is the cut. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave a comment, like, and please subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell on. And don't forget to follow me at JoshXBarber. As seen on the top of this video, it's your boy Josh, and I'm out.